Hi, it's Arjun from Wizards.exe. In this video, we're going to go over how to use the battery holder, which is this part here. First things first, I want to go over what's special about the battery holder. And the battery holder is a plate that comes in the first global kit. One thing that's nice about it is that the holes, the corner holes are the same spacing as the ones on the control hub and the expansion hub, meaning that these holes have the same width as well as it has the same height, meaning that you can put them on the same rail as your control hub or expansion hub, which makes it easier to build your robot. Now I'm going to go over what you need to do this. So of course in your kit it comes with a rev slim robot battery, but you also will use hook and loop fastener, as well as you're going to need something to cut with. Here I have scissors, but you can use really anything that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start unwinding the hook and loop fastener. I'm going to feed it through this right here, as well as I'm going to feed it back up around so that it has a little hook through there. I'm keeping the soft side up on this here. I'm going to feed some more through as I'm going to need more here. Okay, now that I've gotten around that much, I'm going to put it back through and bring it out on the other side. So you can see I've pulled it out. I'm going to make sure that that's fairly flat, and I'm going to put it through the other side. Okay, so I've done this, and I just need to make sure that it's all flat. As you can see, it's sticking up a little bit right there. I'm just going to push that through and pull on it. But if it sticks up a little bit, that's perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to put the battery in to use as a spacer. I'm going to wrap this side around, and I'm going to bring this around here. I'm going to cut it around there. As you can see, I have about 2 centimeters or an inch of overlap, which is good enough. You can have more, though. I'm going to cut it off right there. Now you can see I've got one of these um, loops done. We have three of them on this um, battery holder. I'm going to do the same thing for this loop right here that I just did for this one here. Okay, you can see that I have about the same distance on both of these loops sticking out of this side. So I'm going to put the battery in and I'm going to secure this part back in again keeping about a half a uh, one inch or around two centimeters of overlap okay so now i have both of these sides done but the battery can still slip out so we need one more piece of hook and loop fastener around the long side of the battery to keep it fully constrained. You can see that there is, there are holes here for another piece of hook and loop fastener. I'm going to start off by wrapping it, I'm going to feed it in to here and flipping it over you can see that there's actually a little ridge in here which is perfect for um, the hook and loop to go in here and keep the bottom flat. I'm going to feed it through the other side. Now you can see I have a good amount of um, hook and loop on this side. I'm going to feed a little bit more through here. You can see that it's almost the full, full way around, which is good. We might need to shorten this a little bit later, but this is good enough for now. I'm going to feed the rev battery in, which um, goes in like this, and I'm going to wrap this around. 
you can see that we have a little bit too much as I want this end of the hook and loop to end on this strap here. So I'm going to feed it some of it through the other way. Great. So now we have this much done. Again, we want about an inch of overlap on that, or two centimeters of overlap. I'm going to cut that there. Now, you can see that we have a very strong battery mount. One thing that's very nice about this battery mount here is the way you can slide out the Rev, bat the Rev Slim Robot battery. This is really nice if you have clearance on one of the sides where you can slide out the battery. You can just unstrap one of this, this and then you can slide it out. This can be very helpful and make it much easier. But otherwise you can do the... You, if you don't have any clearance, you can just undo all of the straps. For example, I can do this. This takes a little bit longer, but it still is just as secure. This can get a little bit messy, but it still works completely fine. One thing to note is that you have multiple battery holder plates in the kit. Now, even if you use one of these battery holder plates for mounting your battery, you still have an extra, which you should be able to use for something else on your robot if you need. Because it is fairly strong and it has many holes on it. So be creative with it. Use it as a flap. Use it as a little ramp. You, but you should be able to use it for something useful. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.